I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on finding limits of trigonometric functions. The question here is evaluate limit x approaches pi by 6 for sine x minus pi by 6 divided by square root 3 minus 2 cos x. Now if you substitute pi by 6 here we get sine 0 in the numerator sine 0 is 0 and if you substitute pi by 6 here 2 times cos pi by 6 is cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2 so we get square root 3 minus square root 3 which is 0 so we get 0 over 0 form now to solve such a question we need to substitute simplify and then evaluate the limit the substitution which we'll make is let let's say uh, some parameter for x minus pi by 6 let's say t equals to x minus pi by 6. So let's do this substitution. Let t be x minus pi by 6. Then what is x equals to? x will be equal to t plus pi by 6. And also when x approaches pi by 6, in that case t will approach pi by 6 minus pi by 6 as 0. With that substitution we can rewrite the given limit as limit t approaches 0. We have sine t in the numerator. x minus pi by 6 is replaced by t. And the denominator, we have square root 3 minus 2 cos x minus. So t is, uh, I mean, x is written as t plus pi by 6. So we'll write t plus pi by 6. Okay. So that becomes the denominator. Now we can expand this denominator, so we get limit, t approaches 0, the numerator is sine t, and the denominator will apply the formula cos a plus b, so we have square root 3 minus 2 times, let me write them in brackets, cos t times cos pi by 6 minus sine t sine pi by 6, correct? Okay. Now this could be written as limit t approaches 0 sine t uh, we have square root 3 here minus 2 times now cos t, cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2, right? So we could write this as cos t times square root 3 over 2 minus sine t and uh, sine pi by 6 is is half so this is half now we can open this bracket once you open the bracket you get sine t in the numerator limit t approaches 0 okay so we have square root 3 here when you multiply by 2 this 2 gets cancelled so you get minus square root 3 cos t and this 2 cancels with this 2, so we get sine t minus and minus makes it plus, so plus sine t. Okay, now what? Now actually, uh, we can write them in half angle formulas. So, uh, the half angle formula for sine t uh, is 2 sine theta by 2. Rather, let me let me write down these half angle formulas first and then we'll work it out okay uh, the half angle formula is something like this uh, uh, sine let's say sine 2 theta is equals to 2 sine theta cos theta correct so so that is sine 2 theta if I have theta here then I could write this as sine theta equals to 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 correct so i could replace this sine t by t by 2 terms is that okay similarly we could do a substitution for cos 2 theta also cos 2 theta is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square theta now uh, you could write we could rearrange this uh, let me take up here 
okay let me do it here itself so we could bring this to the right side and say 2 sine square theta will be equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta is it okay but here we have t right so so we could write this as uh, uh, we can reduce this by half half right so we could write this as 2 sine square I mean theta by 2 as equals to 1 minus cos theta you get my point right so if the angle is kind of half of it then also the formula could be written like this so we're going to use these two formulas these two formulas here for cos and sine terms so that we could write them in terms of uh, half the angles so writing that in this form gives us limit t approaches 0 so the numerator becomes 2 sine t by 2 cos t by 2 correct as far as the denominator is concerned we could take first square root 3 common right and then in the bracket we have 1 minus cos t we have 1 minus cos t right so that could be written as 2 sine square t by 2 okay so I'm combining two steps that could be written as 2 sine square t by 2 and here we have plus so that this is one part so we have just combined this portion 1 minus cos t is it okay 1 minus cos t now here we have plus sine t we could write this as plus 2 sine t by 2 cos t by 2 is it okay so that is how we could rewrite it now if you check this numerator and denominator we have sine t by 2 as a common term right so that could be cancelled sine t by 2 is common that could be cancelled right so we could cancel this part one of the sine t by 2 now 2 is also common right so we'll cancel this 2 part also is that okay so we can kind of simplify because the scarcity of space I'm just doing this otherwise it goes much longer right so we have limit t approaches 0 we are left with cos t by 2 in the numerator and the denominator for us is square root 3 sine t by 2 plus cos t by 2 is it okay so that is what we get in the simplified form for the given expression right so we have cos t by 2 divided by square root 3 sine t by 2 plus cos t by 2. Now if I substitute 0 here, what happens? See, if I substitute 0 here, I get cos 0 over square root 3 sine 0 plus cos 0. Now cos 0 is 1 sine 0 is 0 so I get 0 plus 1 and that gives me 1 as the answer right so after cancelling this we could substitute t equals to 0 and get the answer so what we get here is the limit of the given function which is equal to 1 correct so that becomes our answer I hope the steps are clear to you right uh, except for one stage where I skipped here Actually, I should have taken square root 3 common to show you. This becomes 1 minus cos t. Is that okay? And then 1 minus cos t was written as 2 sine square t by 2. 2 sine square t by 2 with square root 3. So, so that is how these things get related, right? So I think you can go through this once again. Understand. If there are questions, you can put their comments. Amal Kumar, and I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.